Welcome to my house. Fuck here. I got up this morning. I was getting all ready to go. I, I did the qualifier too for the Christmas Giants tour last night. Huh? Didn't do so well. Hundred and I think I got 180th place or something like that. But I was getting ready to gear up for qualifier three. You know, I'm gonna give her give her hell, give her one more shot at it. And lo and behold, the Christmas event had started. So putting the brakes on the qualifier right here. Gotta get started on this. So re-geared everything up. Um, got my Christmas stuff in there. <laughs> Why isn't it doing there? Let's see where it's my air it is. Now it loaded up. All right, so I got myself in the Christmas gear. Let's go. Let's jump over there, fellas, and take a look at what, what we're going to take with us over there. Okay. <coughs> so, um, Jig Winner had him there. He's not part of the Christmas stuff, so I'm just going to keep him along. That's that's my smallest bowler. Jig Winner 810 with a Bremer 5000. We're going to go with him. Got crankbait loaded up on him. Now, we got some Christmas baits here. Uh, so as far as in the for what can go on a spinning rod here, let's take a look. We got the Jolly Spoon one ounce. We got a Jolly Spoon. Now that's a single spoon, and then we have the Jolly Spoon quarter ounce. That looks more like a narrow spoon to me. All right, so we have him, um, and I think that's okay. And then we also have the Jolly Bullet Spinner. We're gonna take one, and we got that in the package. We have the Jolly Nano Spinner. And that's as far as the uh, spinner baits go that we got for the Christmas event here. Oh, the backwards thing. All right, so <clears throat> now this was one of the rods in the package. This was the Fruitcake 12-2. And uh, we got it. Let's get up here so we can see everything. And it's got a Saccade. Saccade Reel 4500 on there. And this is a 13 2-pound. Now, I like this one. Like I said, this is a really good balance setup in here, guys. You got the 13-pounder uh, stick with the um, 13 2 engine on it so very strong bow now what kind of line did they put on 13 pound line all right so that's good now it came with a closed feeder now that closed feeder weighs an ounce and three quarter um, I'm gonna leave it on there just for the just for the, the weight all right so we got a sinker there I, I, I'm taking some ground bait with it so take a look at that over here we got uh, that's I brought five bags of the mega cookie and five bags of the pure snow so if we need to mix any of that up, if it gets to the point where I, I got to use it, then I will. And we'll throw some on there, and I also have it on my on my wrist rocket too. So we have a wrist rocket where we're taking. It. Oh, I better get myself some boats here. We're a lot of boats. I was in the tournament. All right, I don't even have a rod stand or anything either. Oh, I'm not geared up all the way at all. All right, so we'll have to get that taken care of before we go back to the back to our weapons. All right, so we got this here. He's loaded up with this stolen on it right off the bat. Okay, so for then my third poem, I'm bringing my river spear with me, fellas. You know that one. Um, <clears throat> just got to have him. That's that's the stick. Okay, the fourth weapon here. This came in the package. Now, this is the Krampus Horn 7.3 with a horn reel 3,500 on it. Now, this is a 23-pound um, casting setup. So, this is well-balanced, 23, 23. Probably got 23 on there. Looking good. Okay, so... This here was the, um, now I had this one in the, um, this is a casting rod from the Topwater Kayak Cup. Uh, I like this rod. I had him set up. I, I like the setup that's on it. It's a pain in the ass to rig it. So I'm, I'm leaving this guy. We'll just grab him with us. He was part of the show from the last one. Because I'm probably going to use him in Qualifier 3. All right, I got a bottom rod here too. This, this is what I took with me in the Qualifier. So we're just keeping him along with the for the ride. And then we get a match rod um, in that Krampus, the Krampus um, catcher pack. Okay, so we have the chocolate bar 1110, 33-pounder with the Coca Boom, Choco Boom, Choco Boom 6500. And that is a 30.8. Now, what I don't like about this reel is the recovery on it. It's only 27 and a half. But, uh, you know, can't complain, Bach. All right, guys, so those are the sticks that we're taking. Um, I'm going to get myself fixed back up here in the inventory. So before we head over, now let's take a look at our missions here. What do we got to do first? First off the bat, find Santa's sleigh. All right, so we're going to travel to White Moose Lake, find Santa's sleigh, find Santa's gift bag. We get some 12 monkeys here, some this and that. 
Got the white moose fights on a sling. Okay, guys. So I'm going to get my inventory squared away here, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. <clears throat> oh man, <clears throat> I got everything. Look, I got got the Santa sleigh kayak here. I bring the Christmas kayak with us. Not a great one, but it's kind of goofy looking. So we'll we'll bring him along with us. Uh, got myself a boat there and a rod stand. So. Uh, if you're doing this with me, make sure you got yourself a... Well, we're not doing any fishing, I don't think. So we don't need a license, actually, at all for this one. So don't bother buying a license if you... Because I don't think we need one here. We're not catching any fish. All right, I'll see you over at White Moose. I don't see a Christmas tree this year. Hmm. I'll be damned. Well. Find Santa's sleigh. Mm -hmm. I think we've got that covered right here. Oh, take the bag. All right, well, that was pretty good. Phoenix of Confidence. All right, we get that. Hey, Matt Critter. Oh, no, thank you. That's not a good pack to have, fellas. Don't don't get Santa's bag. Uh-oh. I forgot about making sure I had... Ooh, travel light moose wing catch. Okay. We are here fishing. Travel to White Moose Lake and catch eight antlered salmon to harness them to Santa's sleigh instead of his run runaway reindeer. Keep in mind that antlered salmon bite best when someone launches fireworks. Oh, here we go. What's the details? Antlered salmon. Okay. Something between 11, 3, and 15. Antlered salmon, 15. We need two of them between 15 and 19. Two between 19 and 22, and two over. Okay, and we're here, and we're tracking the mission. So, we have to catch these salmon. They didn't tell us what they're biting on, though, either, did they? Oh, guys, there's, <clears throat> there's the first furry trout. Uh, <laughs> didn't know about him, but, yep, we got him. Fortunately, he's not one on the list, but we'll keep him. Kind of cool looking, isn't he? All right, we got him on the Jolly Bullet Spinner. And by the way, oh, very good. Challenge huh? Mythbuster. Got a certain number of furry trout. I guess you only needed one of them. All right, cool. Got some more fireworks. Cool. Um, I went in there and read the damn baits. Uh oh. You don't even. You didn't even get to see the goofy thing. Ah, buck. All right. Oh, well. A furry trout. <laughs> Had him. Anyway, we're back down here. I started reading the baits up here, okay? So what I did was I pulled out those rods. We got, I got the feeder rod on there. Um, we got the uh, uh, my bottom sniper on there. And, and of course, there are the bottom rod. And I got some frozen, a frozen shiner, a frozen minnow. Um, and I'm throwing this bait here. And I, I don't know, I can't remember what I got on the uh, on the feeder pole right now. But anyway, I got some baits in the water. This thing here seems to be catching the fish right at the moment, though. We'll be back. Well, guys, <clears throat> we got ourselves a new personal record. <coughs> a uni furry trout. Pretty cool. We'll be back. Guys, I think we might have our first antlered. Oh man, he's he's being a little bugger. Come on now. How big is he? Oh, antler, new personal record. Oh, he's just a 14 pounder. All right, but we'll take him. Got to get a picture of that one. We'll be right back. Alright guys, <clears throat> we shall keep him 
There's one. One more of this shot. Alright, we nabbed him up on one of the four rounds. Oh, okay, the deer. Ah. Deer. Alright. Oh. Alright, they got the fire going off. Let's get back at it. guys we got one more he's an 18 pounder so be right back I gotta get his Kodak moment all right guys there's our eight next other 18 pounder so that that set gets knocked off the list get a picture here I'll be right back all right guys I'm back it's day two um, of the Christmas event. Of course, it just says day one. I went home because I didn't. You need four. You need four bottom rods for for these antlered fish. So I went back, grabbed me three more bottom rods, and we're gonna go at it again. So let's jump over there. All right. No, I didn't bring that up. I didn't ask to forward the time now, did I? Cancel. There we go. Alright. We'll be able to get something here today. Oh, it's wait for me. Oh, I was still I was up late. So I'm already here for the day. Alright. Well, I don't feel like running around and catching them red boxes at the moment. We're gonna set up shop right here. And we're gonna we're gonna catch us some ant and fish. So I'll be right back once I get the weapons out. Alright guys, <clears throat> I got two heavy chasers. Everything's got large minnows on it. We need three of these fish. We need one more in the 19 to 22 pound range and we need then two over 22 pounds. So, let's start off here. See how this goes and we might have to, might have to hit some fireworks here too because I'm not I'm not in a random room, I went private, so I don't have all those boats making a bunch of noise. Alright, I'm going to go out here, I'm going to pull out my casting rod with a spoon on it. I'm going to throw it while I got these bottom rods here. Alright, we'll be back. Well guys, I set the fireworks off and there's the first one, unfortunately he's too small. So we got another little, we got him going off now. Boom. We got this one here, so he's hooked up. Let's go down and get this one, make sure we got him hooked up. I don't know how long these guys will stay on, but we'll see right now. We can just keep swapping back and forth real fast so we don't lose any of them, hopefully. Oh, this one's a little bit tougher here. This one's going to be a fight. Oh, I lost that one. All right, we got this one. This one's actually the bigger of the two, I think. Of course, that was on a heavy chaser. He's a bigger pole. And I don't even think this one here is an antlered. Nope. Unique furry. Cool. All right, I'm going to get these poles back in order. We'll be back. All right, guys, <clears throat> I've had enough with okay dog K1 here. This is a complete friggin' asshole right there. So if you're ever out fishing anywhere next to this jerk, just do what the hell you can to irritate the shit out of him. Last five fish that I've caught, the son of a bitch moved in on me to begin with, and then he stands in front of me every time I catch a fish. <sighs> he should be feeling a damn sharp pain in the back in his kidney because it's my friggin' Bowie knife. Oh! Later. Jack off. <laughs> Say it like that, jackass. 
there and out of that we're going to need to fall. Oh, look at this. Maybe I got a piss tower. I am sure. I know what it is. Another furry trout. Yep, there it is. That's all I ever get from setting off fireworks. Unique furry trouts. Gotta love it. Alright guys, <clears throat> there's he is. 25.373 pound. We finally got one over the 22 pound mark. So, keep him. That puts one on the marker for that one. All right, we only got two fish to go. Back at it. Pretty cool at night. We still need two. All right, guys, it's nighttime. Crazy day showed up. We're having a blast right now. Some guy got one here. Ah, it's a deep bomber. He ain't good enough. Oh. Alright, back in the game. Oh, well, we got another one on here, guys. I hope he's big enough. And of course, we got one down there. So let's try to get this guy in. I don't know he's coming in too fast. Oh, yeah, there he is. There's a 25 pounder, new personal record. Now, no picture for him. We gotta get this guy, which could be the end. Uh, nope. We need one more, 19 to 20 pounder, and we've got this thing kicked in the ass. Alright. I'll be back with you today. Let me get some sticks back to the water. Well, fellas, this one has been a long, hard road here. We got him. 20 pounder. That's what we needed to complete the mission. And there he is. The salmon harness. We should get that as soon as we click this off here. So let's, <clears throat> let's see what happens here. Keep, we'll keep him. All right. I got... Well, I got one box of fireworks and some three golders, and we'll claim that. Okay, Santa's bag of gifts, new mission. Okay, first Santa's bag is used for the words by boat and search of lost gifts. Find green boxes on Emerald Lake, blue boxes on Falcon, white on the Tiber, red boxes on white. I already got all the red boxes. Once you arrive at Waterways, find Santa's bag on the pier to get started with the task of collecting boxes with presents. Okay, we're tracking this mission. Okay, we don't need that. So, Santa's bag of gifts. We gotta get to all these waterways and collect the stuff. So, with that being said, fellas, <clears throat> that 
That does it for the Santa Sleigh and the Salmon Harness. So, this one took a while. Took me, took me two days. 8.15 a.m. on the second morning. I had to throw up some fireworks there to break him in there. However, we're going to head back now. We're going to head to uh, the white gift boxes. We're going to go get them. Then the blue, then the green. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.